Hello, this is Frank, and today we're going to talk about the NS lookup command to use for to look up DNS names. Best part about this command is that while I'm showing you on Windows, it also works on Mac, it also works on Linux, so the same concepts. So I have Microsoft Windows 10 in front of me, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a command prompt by typing in CMD Charlie Mary David. That's going to give me a command prompt. If you sit there and notice the command prompt, I reverse the colors just to make it easier to read. Clear the screen a bit. And now what I'm going to sit there and do is I'm going to type in NSLOOKUP. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the site I'm looking for, which is going to be Cisco.com. Now, I want you to notice a couple of things here. The first address is actually not the answer. The first address is the DNS server that gave me the answer or that is giving me the answer. The second one is actually going to be the answer I'm looking for. In this case, you can see this is cisco.com dot local domain. And you can see that it's at 72.163.4.184. And we're reading multiple addresses for it. This address is known as an A record or a host record. There are several different types of records and to query anything outside of an A record, we have to go and do a different command or slightly different command. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. And I'm now just gonna do NSLOOKUP by itself. Now it gives me the server address and then we just get a prompt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna query the system for the syntax just by asking a question mark. And you can see here that there are different types of records. Now, this is how I type the command. So for example, I would type the set command, right? And then an option. The option I use most often is going to be the type. So if you look down here, it says set type equals X. And that says to go ahead and then and set the query type. You can see that there are quite a few different options here. We're only going to focus on a few in this lesson here. Uh, the A record, the C name, the MX, the NS, and then we'll talk about some of the other ones. All right. So if I want to clear right, and look for the MX record for Cisco.com, the first thing I have to do is go set type equals MX. Notice that I don't really get a response. If I type it in incorrectly, I'll just get an error. And then I type in cisco.com. And if you look here, I'm getting the email records because that's what MX type is. But if you notice, it's actually not an IP address. I've got RCDN, AER, and ALLN. These are the mail servers, but they're giving me them in what's called a C name or canonical name for the mail servers. They do this so that if the IP address changes, they only have to change it in one place. That's called a canonical name. It's an alias. So what I'm going to do now is if I want to find the IP addresses of these servers, I'm going to have to change my query type back to A. And then I look for the first one. So RCDN MX01 Cisco.com. Right? And I get a 72 address. If you notice that 72 address was similar to the first one we pulled. Now let's look at the next one. AER. And now I get a 173 address. Let's go ahead and try the last one here, ALN. And I also get a 173 address. Now, Cisco probably is sitting there dividing these up so that way their mail keeps running in case there's some kind of failure. It's a disaster recovery or a business continuity type service. 
Now, if we want to find out where some of these IP addresses are, we have to query Aaron. So I'm going to copy this IP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm just going to hit Enter. Then I'm going to go to my browser. And I go to the website Aaron.net, right? which is the American Registry for Internet Numbers. I'm going to take this IP address that I have. I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to do a search. Cisco, where is it located at? This one looks like it's in San Jose. All right. So let's take a look at the next IP address. Open up another browser tab. I'm going to do Aaron.net. And I'm going to take this next IP address. Okay. Now they've registered it in the exact same place. And if you notice here, we can now see Aaron, what the email address is, everything. But it looks like all their DNS servers or all their mail servers are in San Jose, which is their base of operations. Why don't you do the last one by yourself, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.